still disabled and we are using 3D Mark. So I'm going to use performance and run. So I'm just going to show you before and after, you know, to make it a little bit more. So, in a bit, 42 FPS, just with that single card, 36. Not too bad for a single card under this benchmark. 28, we're starting to dip down, down downwards so we are now. So, yeah, about 35, 31, and if you have a look back with this, it looks pretty good, so we're getting about 30s, 32, 28. Thirty-seven forty ish. So this is generally where the graphics card kind of falls down. So we're getting forties. Yeah, we're just getting about the forties for this. The six, GTX 660 is a fantastic card, um, especially the EVGA one, uh, on its own. Uh, it makes a great entr entry card, and uh, I would recommend them. Uh, probably the 760 would be a little bit more uh, gaming oriented, oriented, but that used two six pins, and if you wanted to stick that into your Mac Pro, uh, you'd only be able to put one in there. So, just something to think about. So we're getting about 21 FPS. Seventeen, twenty. Not too bad for the benchmark that's using. Um, this is just a CPU test. My dual quad cores aren't exactly fast, so don't take any heed of this here. <laughs> so, uh, the CPUs that I'm running this is two quad core X5355s, and uh, they aren't doing too bad, I guess. Um, it's more so for media editing than for anything gaming oriented or 3D oriented. They're more like server at CPUs. So it should do a combined test next, yep. Sometimes you can get stuck here for a little while. Just adds a couple of few minutes to the, just adds a minute to the bloody video. Not sure why it gets stuck here, but it does.
So remember this is what 1660. And there is a lot of stuff going on here. So, if we look up here, I'll just, well, that's the score that we got there. So, I'm going to switch on the SLI and turn off 3D marks apparently. And again, just to tell people that I am using a Mac Pro because I seem to get a lot of disbelief on my videos with certain things. Logic board, graphics cards, okay? So, let's see, we'll go back to 3D Marks, open that up again, performance, and we'll run that one more time just to kind of show you the difference in FPS. Now again, this is a software hack, so don't expect anything phenomenal, but uh, we're going up to the 50s at the start here. Staying about 50s, 40s. Where before we were only at the 40s. Forty-five, forty-one. We're getting some decent performance now that we're in SLI. Now it's loading up the next one. Hopefully we should see some 60s so we should in this one. Yep, 69, 61, 59. I'm sure you can see it. It is quite clean, so it is. So you can see a big difference between the SLI now and the um, bug standard. We're up about 20 to 30 FPS. Um, on this benchmark, which is pretty good. Here I'm expecting to see uh, 80 to pop up. Yep, there we go. So 79, 80 in the 70s. If you did not know, I've already done this benchmark and it's always come up with the same scores every time so uh, so um, I'm just showing you now that I pretty much doubled my performance with SLI pretty much So we're in the 30s here where we were in the teens on the last one. Staying at constant 30. The FPS is good. It's not fantastic. But it's playable. This never changes, this is just a CPU test. Probably get an extra frame. Now we're going up to 10 frames, 11 frames per second instead of 7, so we have doubled 12.
13. So we are getting more than the last um, benchmark and everything, so we are right now. This video is drawn out a little bit more than what I wanted it to, so I might actually cut this video in half and release it in parts. And the combined test, which will stop right there, just because it's been a dick. And the reason why I'm not cutting this is because it's just in case somebody thinks I switched the machines. Like last time when I was playing on a Mac Mini, uh, somebody thought I was using a Xbox 360 because I was using the controller, um, which is connected directly to all my computers. Um, with this little dongle right here but um, people thought I was using an Xbox instead of the Mac Mini but I really wasn't, I was using the Mac Mini proof by you seeing a mouse cursor going across your screen every now and then but it's hard to make people believe that a Mac Mini can actually game um, eventually this will get to the end You'll kind of remember that it's doing something. Don't know why this happens just in 3D marks. It's weird. Yep. Do want to make this continuous video, but if it takes any longer than a minute, I'm going to have to pause it. Oh, wait, there we go. Thank you. So, this video is just past 12 minutes, and on my phone at least, and as you may see, we're getting about 10 frames, we're still getting, we're getting more than, we're getting double what we did the first time, that's what we're expecting from SLI, SLI is more expensive, is a very expensive way of getting more performance but you can buy two cheap cards SL item and get the be uh, as good as performance as a Titan which is kinda cool this here would run uh, faster than a 680 it would be about 690 run so close that so I'm up by 2000 points so I am from the 5000 that I got before so that is a big improvement on gaming. Um, I'll just get another benchmark up here. Uh, just Cause would be probably the best benchmark to use if I can find it. Where'd you go? There we go. So I'll just close that. We're staying in SLI. And this be real time gaming, benchmarking, performance. So I'm just booting into my Steam offline because my Wi Fi is currently down. So Just Cause 2 has a nice little benchmarking um, application. It supports CUDA, it's SLI, Square Enix, all the rest. As you may see, my mouse is there. I'm not using a PlayStation 1. I can't even afford that. <laughs> so, enter, we'll go to settings. We'll just display settings. Motion blur on, subtitles on. That's the wrong thing. So just close that. Advanced display settings. So we're high, run on high. Can't go any higher than high in this. Well, very high. I think all these are all maxed out. Um, sure, GPU war simulation. Um, and accept changes. Saving settings. And um, see Xbox controller settings. Uh, some P 
PCs allow you to play with your controller. So benchmark anyway. Uh, the Dark Tower. That sounds ominous. So that's loading as far as I know. There we go. So down here is my FPS. And this is what I'm getting on my FPS with this benchmark. Anything over 40, your eyes will not notice it. Um, unless you have some super sight. Um, trust me, anything over 40, you will not notice the difference. Unless you have over 2020 vision. But we're sticking about the 50s here with rain. And this is my Mac Pro right here. You can hear it humming away. We're still getting 50s. That's it. So thank, thanks for watching my video. Hope this uh, helped you. And uh, good luck with your SLI. See you then. Bye.